What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the penultimate episode of Tonikawa Over the Moon for you. This one's titled Friends, and I think we're going to be, um... I think we're going to be having, like, a party or something uh, with everyone. Uh, at least that's what the impression I got from uh, last episode's uh, end credit scene. So I guess we're going to have pretty much everyone here. And then for the finale, maybe we'll focus on just Nasa and uh, Sakasa. Maybe. maybe That's what I'm expecting. Uh, because I don't think they want to end. For a romance show, you don't really want to end with all your friends together. You kind of want to end with a nice moment between your two mains. So I imagine that's where we're going with it. But anyway. Um, yeah. Last time, uh, we've settled into our temporary living at uh, the bath house, um, because obviously apartments burned down, so we are we're living here for now, but we do have plans. The apartment owner is having a new building constructed, and we will be going in there, and he will be keeping us the same rent and everything, and hopefully it should be even better than where we were before, technically, because uh, it's going to be completely new and rebuilt, so that will be nice. Uh, we went to see what uh, the new apartment would look like in the form of a model because you you've got model apartments that you go to to see what your new building that's being constructed will eventually look like um they kind of got put into the wrong place and went to a luxury high-rise complex which is like well one day maybe you'll live in some place like that but for now no uh not likely uh oh also during the cooking scene we have one of the best lines ever uh about how your, your tongue is for my personal use fantastic line i have already used that screenshot to great effect <laughs> such a good screenshot um anyway uh yeah my boy's still horny as well because of uh thinking about sharing a bath with her blah 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 sharing the bed etc he's just super excited to finally have uh, a new place to move in and progress further as a couple which no doubt will happen um and also we have a nice moment between uh sukasa and uh uh kaname which was uh, something we haven't really explored too much, but it was a nice moment to for them to get to know each other and uh, both talk about NASA, obviously, because they were going to. I, I say NASA now. I don't know why. It's NASA, but I say NASA. I don't know why. My, my head's weird today. Um, we also go grocery shopping and end up going uh, to uh, a Togi Park after, I think it was their mother, uh, Kaname and Ayu's mother, suggested it. And they just happened to find themselves there uh, alone. But it was a nice moment. A very, very nice moment. Because this show is just adorable. And I love every single second of it. One of the best romance shows to ever come out. Um, especially in the past year. Like 2020 romance shows. This is really up there as one of the top ones. Uh, how it actually does at the end of the year. We'll wait and see. Because I have a special video for that coming out later as well. So. Uh, let's get into the episode. Because I, I just want to keep watching. Uh, it's a shame this is going to be over next week, but I, I just want to get into it. So as per usual, these are time-based format reactions. Bottom left of the screen, you go see the timer for the episode. I'll count you down three, two, one, play. And on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we will be in sync. Uh, watching this one on Crunchyroll, as per usual, since that's who's licensed it this season. Uh, Crunchyroll Originals logo to start, about five seconds of logos uh, to count us down. I'll call it out as it goes past, and you can also use screen flash on my face or the mic to tell when the season transitioning. And with all that said, let's get into the penultimate episode of Sonic Carver, shall we? In three, two, one, play. French Royal Emotionals, cheers to that. Oh, hello. Oh, right. <laughs> she doesn't know the place burnt down. <laughs> I love these maids. Yeah. Oh, he's fine. Mm hmm. <laughs> She's speaking out loud, isn't she? Uh, love it. And then she just shows up. And OP time. I'll say this every time as well. Go listen to the full version of this song. 
so good. This season's been really good for OPs, actually. Like, today especially. We've got this, Jujutsu Kaisen, and Assault Lee Bouquet. All absolute bangers. So good. Full version still has a better drop though. I'll say it every week. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, burn down. Don't didn't you know? <laughs> Incredible. <gasps> oh boy. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh... <laughs> I love her. I love her. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Is she going to make you some takoyaki now? <laughs> Uh, mm-hmm. Hmm. Sure, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. Oh boy. Mm hmm. It's kind of mean. I love the sound cue as well. Just gave away immediately. <laughs> so gullible. <laughs> Milk bottles for a pillow. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> it is now. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> uh... 
I love these maids. I really do. Doesn't handle the heat well at all, I'm guessing. <laughs> They're just leaving. <laughs> Yep. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh... Uh... Sure. Yeah, but how much? Sure, okay. All the retro consoles, I'm guessing. Wow. I intervenes. Uh, yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> really? Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> You're a young person. <laughs> what? Nana Nina no, whatever. So she's just okay. She definitely is. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Fair. <laughs> it, it will be, yes. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry about that before this. Ooh. So much food.
Mm-hmm. Uh... <laughs> sure. Street Vicer? <laughs> okay, they've just got straight up Street Fire in this. Yes. Wait, Jesus Christ, that's actually like. This is just full on, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Of course. Super Papacom, okay. Holy shit. Yes. <laughs> wow. Well. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Oh, my showdown. Okay, what's the prize gonna be? Okay. Okay. A favor. Aha. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you better hope Scarcel wins. Good question. So bad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes, you, you need to win to protect him. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Jesus Christ. Okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> Love the art for this. Sure. <laughs> Holy shit. Mm. 
Maybe. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All the excuses. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Ah, something's overrated. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. I love it. Suck about you. Mm-hmm. Bust. <laughs> All right. Sure. <laughs> oh boy. Huh? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, okay. Of course. <laughs> mm hmm. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Yep, no special moves. Mm-hmm. I love her. Yes. It's probably for the best that they did. <laughs> Sure about that? Mm hmm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, I mean, <laughs> that was the main point. <laughs>
Jesus. Okay. <laughs> you finally got a clue. <laughs> uh. Love it. <laughs> yes. Good question. Oh, just out of nowhere. I love it. <laughs> so fucking adorable. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking hot. And just stepping close to go Oh, I love it. Holy fuck, I love it. Uh. Oh, that's nice a go ill. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it looks like next time we're gonna have uh, Sakasa caring for NASA. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh my god, I love this show. Like it was just fun to have all the side characters around and have a, like a party situation. That's always fun, right? But then that little moment right at the end, just with, between them, just like ah, oh, you just I can't express it enough. You just don't get this in romance shows normally. This is such a rarity in romance shows to have a relationship like this. Where they're open and honest with each other, and you're already in the relationship, and you can develop the relationship as it goes forward, rather than constantly trying to get to the relationship. Like, don't get me wrong, the stories of learning to love each other, and finding out if you do love each other, and having that realization and that confession, like, that's still good. Like, Adachi Shiomura is a good example of it, and there are so many shows that do it. But when you finally get a show where they're in a relationship, it's wholesome, it looks good, you love them both. It's just so, ah, yeah. it's just so good. It really, really is. And next episode, uh, I, I don't want it to be over. I sincerely hope this gets a season two. I really, really do. But when did the manga start coming out? 2018. So we've had nearly three years of manga. I don't know if we've got enough content for a season two of the anime already. I think maybe someone mentioned it. Maybe. On uh, YouTube? Did they? I think I asked it last week. I don't know if anyone got back to me on that. Uh, where's Tonikawa? Where's last week's Tonikawa? There it is. Um, no, they didn't mention it there. Maybe they mentioned it on previous ones. I'm just going to have a quick look just in case uh, anyone did get back to me on that. Uh, episode 9... Whoops, it helps if I click the right thing. No, maybe on episode 8. No, so I don't know how much more content there is. If they could make a season 2 straight away. I really, really want a season 2 of this, so I need more of it. This might be a... <laughs> I say this a lot, but this might be a manga that I end up trying to keep up with, because it's just so good. Like, it just is that good, so I might have to look into maybe catching up with this one in the form of manga. Uh, we'll wait and see if there's any Season 2 announcements, because um, we'll soon start getting them, I imagine, because, uh, well, we're fast approaching the end of the season. Usually at the end of Episode 12, or 13, if it's a 13-episode show, that's when we start getting some of the... Um, that's when we start getting some of the 
announcements for season twos. So hopefully, hopefully this might be on the list, although I don't know if there's enough source material, that's my only concern, but my god, this show is so great. It's wholesome, it's cute, it's just relatable, it's genuine, which I think is a big thing. Like, it's not going over the top for the sake of going over the top. Everything here is, like, very real in a way, and I I just love it for that. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. Leave a like if you did, as per usual. It helps grow out the channel. Uh, as do your comments. They are also very much appreciated. If you know how far we are into the source material, please let me know. And as per usual, don't forget to hit subscribe to see next week's episode, as well as the rest of the full 2020 line you can find on my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.